I <laughs> I had to make sure the camera was on. Okay, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. For those who are new to my channel, I'm Key. This is Key's Playing Life. So, um, today we're going to be doing our November budget at a glance, just so I, so I, so you, me, and you will have an idea of what our November budget is going to look like. We're going to talk about the balances on the credit card breakdown. We're going to go over the to-do list that I created. Um, and we're going to also go um, through November's paycheck, first paycheck. So, I tweaked a couple of things that I want to dive into before we get into that. So, remember I said I was going on a no-buy? I have been doing some... Actually, I've been watching this lady named Valerie Craddock. I've been watching her for a while. I'm just, I love her channel. I've been watching her for a minute. But I've been watching her and it was, she did a um, video on reinvent yourself in 90 days. Everybody's been talking about this video. It was really good. And it was mostly basically talking about you showing up for yourself. Like, even if you work from home, getting dressed in the morning, um, being the person that you're supposed to be in this world, basically, just to sum it up. Um, so I decided to do things different in my life and set realistic goals, um, attainable goals. So what I decided to do is, y'all know I said I was going on a no buy. Your girl, if I'm, cause sometimes you got to be really honest with yourself. I can't do a no buy. Okay, I got stuff I got to do. So, me doing a no buy, <laughs> that's unrealistic in my world, okay? Now, what I can commit to is not buying shoes. No, I'm lying. I'm probably going to buy some shoes. I'm not buying no more clothes. But I'll probably buy some more shoes because I love shoes. My shoes don't cost that much. Like, I can buy three pair of shoes for six to nine bucks. I've done it numerous of times. So, I'm not going to lie. I'll do you one better. I can say I'm going on a, on a, on a low buy. Which means I'm not going to go over certain amounts. I'm not going to... If I set a goal... If I set a um, number that I don't need to go over for that month... That's what I'm doing. And um, also, I've set a thing of... My allowance every two weeks is $200. Once that $200 gone, it's gone. So that's pretty much what I have every two weeks, which is pretty good because that's a $400 monthly allowance. If I can't get what I need to do with that, then I don't need it. Simple and plain. But I had to set realistic goals for myself because trying to set these unrealistic goals or trying to meet um, certain expectations, knowing that that's not me, that was going to be not good and I'm I don't feel like it's being authentic and I want to be as my truest self as possible so we're not doing low buys but we are doing low buys and I will just because I say I'm doing a low buy that does not mean spin 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 that's definitely not what that means that means that like I talked to my like I was telling my husband and we talked about we're only right now we're only focusing on things that are needed for our home um that's it. Like, you know, and every now and then we'll put in some stuff that we may want, but that's coming out of my allowance. And once it's gone, it's gone. And with my allowance, I am entitled to do what I want to do with my allowance. I'm just, I just say, I can do what I want with it. Um, so, like I said, we're going to a low buy, not a no buy. And also, I am going to... I'm in a place where even going looking on clothing sites, I don't see anything that I need or want. I have everything. So it's like I don't see anything I need or I want in the clothing department. Um, I don't really go nowhere. I've been enjoying my home because it's finally like how I want it and how I envisioned it. And it's, it's becoming that place um, of peace. In, in which is, is already their place of peace, but you you I, you know what I mean. It's like I'd rather be at home than to be out here in these streets. I don't, and I'd rather cook a meal than to go out 
I just, I've been enjoying being at home. So, um, and I think that's all in part to it's now being exactly how I want it to be. So, um, <laughs> what I will say is November, we're going to be doing things different. I'm going to be more intentional. I have a new system in my head that I'm going with. And I'm just really focused on getting my home how I exactly want it. But doing it on a budget, if that makes sense. And also um, staying within my allowance and having an understanding that if it's something that I really want, that I need to either save up for it or if I don't have the money for it, then it's not meant for me to have at that moment. And I'm okay with that. Just simply because... Like I said, I have everything a woman could possibly want. So, like I said, anything I buy outside of what I already have is me just buying stuff at this point. So, yeah. Okay, so that's enough about that. Um, and you guys will see the changes that I'm incorporating into November and for the for, um, upcoming months, how I'm doing things. But I had to do some. I had to do what felt comfortable for me. Um, I'm not into doing what other YouTubers are doing or um, how they're doing their budgeting system and things that I do learn from them and I do take notes on certain things, but my budget is for me and it's going to be done my way and it's going to be done in, in, a, in a way that's comfortable for me. So let's go with, and everything I'm going to show you is either going to be on this side of the screen or this side of the screen. So we're first going to start with the November budget um, at a glance. And if you see me looking down, it's because I do all my stuff on Canva because <laughs> it's easy and it looks better that way. But you'll see what I'm looking at on the screen here. November's budget, um, a quick peek. So the total income for November is going to be $4,129. And when I say income, that's not our income in its entirety. It's my husband doing his thing, I'm doing my thing, and we're coming together to take care of business. Um, a lot um, a lot of stuff is me putting in more because my majority of this stuff on here is mine. So we're going off my budget. Um, also, another thing, um, we haven't, the rent doesn't go up till December. So I know I was telling you guys in the last video that... Um, the rent was going to be going up and I thought it was going to be going up in November, but it's actually going up in December and I don't know how much it's going up yet. So, um, like I said, the total income is, no, let, let's, let's back up. So the to-do list for the month of November is, um, pay half the furniture off. Cause, um, as you guys know, I am leasing my furniture, not leasing it, but renting to owns type of situation. But I got it to where I talked them down and I just got my $2,873 living room furniture. All I'm paying them is $800 now. So I'm going to give them $400 this month and the other $400 in December. So I got my furniture for like more than half the cost and I'm content with that. A lot of times when you talk to these companies and things like that and negotiate with these companies, they'll bring things down because they want the sale and they want your business. And you're probably like, girl, you got that, you got like a thousand dollars off. I know. I lucked up on that situation and my couch, my living room furniture is absolutely stunning. Um, so I'm gonna pay half of the furniture bill this month, half of the balance this month. And then I'm going to, I thought I was gonna pay off after pay, but I'm only going to pay on Afterpay just because we, once I wheeled and dealed with the furniture situation, I had to take um, half of that. Because I was going to pay all of the furniture bill in November, but I was like, I said, I want Afterpay bill. Now, if you don't do Afterpay, that's your business. I do. I like it. It comes in handy every now and then. So I was like, let me pay half of that bill. So I'm going to pay half of that bill and half of the furniture bill. And I'll be done with both bills in December. Um, put something on vacation. So I am going to put a little something on vacation. It's not much just because all right, we're not going on our cruise till, um, 2025, just because I, we were supposed to go this year, but I decided that 
20, go, I mean, next 2024. But I decided going into 2024, I want to take care of everything I need to take care of. We're supposed to be purchasing a new car. We're um, trying to finish up this house. I want to take care of that before I go anywhere. Like a vacation and a cruise is the last thing on my list. Once this is taken care of, our home front is taken care of, then we can move and shake. But I'm not moving and shake until this is done. So I'm going to pay on that. And my goals are basically to save no eating out. I'm trying not to eat out for the month of November. So that's why I put no eating out because I'm trying to pack my lunch or take stuff to, you know, just utilize what I have at home and not using DoorDash or Uber Eats during lunchtime. But yeah, bringing my lunch to work basically for the month of November. And like I said, we are doing low buys. For uh, the for the month of November and moving forward, we're, I can't do the no buy thing. I have too much stuff to do, so we're doing low buys. Um, as far as the savings in the joint for November, I want to save 150 for the personal savings. I want to save 105 for the emergency rainy day fund. I want to save 270 dollars, and for the Christmas fund, we'll be saving 50 dollars. And that is a total of, it says $550, but I really think that's um, $575 if my calculations are not wrong. So my major money goal altogether is to save altogether $600, and I think I can do that. Um, I am still doing my fives and one challenge. Oh, also, another sacrifice I'm making for the month of November and December is I'm not getting my nails done or anything. I will be doing my nails and my feet at home until I get this furniture bill taken care of and this afterpay bill taken care of. And that's me doing that. That's not because I have to. That's me saying, hey, you need to take care of this before you go indulge in this. Um, so let's get back to the budget. The total income for the month of November is $4,129. The extra expected income is zero. The total bills and expenses is $3,005. And when we look at bills and expenses, we see that the rent is $978. The Just Energy bill is zero because we have a credit. The Xfinity Mobile bill is $267. The Xfinity Internet bill is $71. Center point is $48. Canva is $14. Car insurance is $267. Um, Capital One uh, credit card $25. Capital One Silver credit card $25. Capital One Savoy credit card is $25. Mission Lane credit card is $25. YouTube is $7. And I think that's going to go up um, in December. Google photo storage, that is a one-time fee of $29. Um, I thought they were going to take it out in October, but they didn't. So I'm going to pay it in November. And after that, I won't have to renew it till, till next year, till 2025. November of 2025. Um, household supplies is $50. The furniture is, I'm paying $424. I'm putting $70 on the vacation and after pay. The goal is to put $704 on after pay. $704. You like, girl, $704. I know when I look at that, <laughs> I'm like, girl, what was you doing? So it's like, even with after pay, you have to put yourself on a budget with after pay because if not, you will go crazy. And I'm looking at that total, like, yeah, it's cool and all. But now you have to pay this. I don't have to pay it. I can I could pay the the weekly, the bi-weekly balance, but I want to get them off my back. So I'm gonna get them this $704. And I think after that I owe I owe like $200 and then I'm gonna be done. Um like I said, after pay just works better for me. Um I like it. Some people it's not their zhush, but for me it is. So, yeah, I'm going to shoot that another $704, and then after that, I will be done um, with high numbers like that. That will not be happening again. So, my fives and ones challenge. So far, I've saved $15.43 for the month of October. Um, so, that is what we've done so far. 
uh i think that's pretty good y'all know i'm doing the five and ones challenge digital digital so yeah and the credit card breakdown so far on um, one of the capital one credit cards i owe 162 dollars the silver i owe 193 dollars the Savoy, I owe 265 and Mission Lane, I owe 513 As you can see, I am making the minimum payments. I do plan on upping those payments on one of those credit cards just to pay it off. I just haven't been really worried about it. So it hasn't been one of those things where I'm like, ooh, I got to hurry up and do this. Um, although I should, I haven't been in that mode of like, yeah, I got to hurry up and get this done. Let's get into my first bi-weekly paycheck for November. My paycheck was $1,616. The expenses were $1,552. What I had left over was $64. And I basically put that into savings. Um, the rent, like I said, was $978. I paid after pay $437. Capital One $25. Capital One Silver $25. Capital One Savoy $25. Mission Lane $25. Because I always pay my credit cards off at the beginning of the month. Um, what's this? Oh, MCMIA. That is the place where I'm getting my, that where I'm paying my furniture at. That's $437. My gas bill, $46. It's like that every month. Um, Apple products. That was the Google, the YouTube, my um, Apple insurance on my Apple watches. Altogether, that was $55 this month. It will be lower next month just because after that, I won't have to pay for the Google thing for a year. Myself, I'm doing an allowance of $200. My joint savings, I put in $50. The rainy day, I put in a hundred. The personal savings, I put in twenty five. The Christmas savings, I put in twenty five. And the vacay, I put the seventy dollars in there because I wanted to get it out the way, so I didn't have to worry about it. So that is uh, my paycheck breakdown uh, for the first week of no for the first uh, paycheck in November. Uh, let's see what else because I don't want to miss anything with you guys. I want to make sure that I get everything out. I am optimistic about November. I really feel like this is going to be a successful month. Oh, that's what I forgot. My to-do list. As y'all know, I created a to-do list of things that I need to take care of and things I'm working on. Um, these are things that I need to take care of before I go get these nails. I'm serious, y'all. I'm not going to the not. I'm not going to go get a nail shop $125. Even though it's only $125 a month, I'm not going to give them that $125 when it's stuff that I need to take care of on the forefront. So, good news is with my to-do list, we are taking care of the TV because we played it smart. We took the smaller TV we had, put it in our bedroom because it's a 40-inch. And we had like a 65-inch in our bedroom and that TV was too big to be in our bedroom. So, we took the 40-inch, put it in the bedroom, took the 65-inch because remember I told you the TV downstairs had blew out. So we took the 65 inch and put it downstairs because hubby thought he was going to get a curved TV and we're not paying two, three thousand dollars for no curved TV. We're just not doing it because he wanted a particular TV and we're not doing that. So we took the 65 inch and put it downstairs. So now that has been covered. So that is one thing I checked off the list. Um, the rug for the living room. I actually ordered the rug for the living room. It should be here um, this week. I am going to do a unboxing on that just because we literally took two weeks to find the type of rug we wanted. Um, um, I'm very persistent and very, um, yeah, very persistent about my husband being hands on when it comes to the things in our home. So him trying to decide what he liked, me trying to decide what I liked, and us making a decision together on what type of rug we wanted. We finally figured out what we wanted and we made the purchase. So now it's on its way. I think that's gonna make the spruce up the living room even more. Now after that, uh, I am getting the lamps just because we wanted a certain type of lamp for the living room and it's a unique looking lamp. So they were, it was $55 a piece, which I still think is pretty cheap for some lamps. So I think that was pretty good. So I'm going to be doing that unboxing as well. Um, and then I think all we have left to do after that is the wallpaper for the bath, downstairs bathroom. I need to finish that. The dining room table, the nightstands for the office, silverware because I need some more silverware. Pillows for our 
room, a bathroom rug, so, and I, I'm not really worried about doing a bathroom rug right now because I have my Christmas stuff coming and it's going to be, I'm going to get ready to put all my Christmas stuff up. And one of the things for Christmas is like the bathroom. So I got to the end of December to get a rug <laughs> for that bathroom. So I'm not in a rush because I got the Christmas decor for the bathroom coming. Um, suitcases for the trip. That's not really important because like I said, we have suitcases, but we were just getting suitcases for the cruise and that cruise is not until 2025. And then, the, like I said, the bedroom rug, because I do want a nice size, big bedroom rug for our bedroom, just because I don't like putting my feet, we have tile, floor, tile floors all through this house. And I don't like waking up in the morning and putting my feet on a cold floor. Hubby was like, if you just put on your slippers, you won't know the flow cold, but in order to put on your slippers, don't your feet gotta still touch the floor? So no, I need a rug for the bed, my bed. So, that is our budget breakdown. That is our first paycheck in November. That is what I, my goals and what I want to do for the month of November. If I can save more money, I definitely will definitely try to do that. Um, also, another thing that I've decided that by the, if I don't spend all of my allowance by the next paycheck, whatever I have left over, it will be going into my personal savings. Um, I, I'm also thinking about um, taking half of my allowance and turning it into cash just because although I didn't want to do the cash system, sometimes I feel like that works better for me because I'm counting the dollar amount and I'm more, more eager to not spend it than to spend it. So um, I'm really thinking about that as well. So yeah. Um, so yeah, I just had to come be honest with you guys and be like, girl, I can't do no no buy. I can't do a no buy, but I can't do a no buy. And I feel like I, I, this is what I feel. I feel like I'm saving just because I want to have a retirement. I want to have an emergency fund. I'm not saving because I'm not saving oh because I have to save to buy a house or I have to save to do this. So I feel like I work hard. I work really, really hard. And I I'm not gonna say I put up with stuff on my job because my job is I love my job. My job is easy breezy. They frustrate me sometimes, but for the most part, my job is easy breezy and I love my job. I feel like if I work that hard, I deserve to every now and then treat myself to something. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to deny myself of something if it's within my, my allowance and my budget. Or if I save up for it, I'm not going to do that. So I am <laughs> going to, although I am going to save, I'm going to be more, more money aware. I'm going to be more um, conscious of how I spend my money. I am also going to enjoy my life because that is part of living, being able to enjoy your life as well. You were not on this, you were not put on this earth just to work, work, work and not enjoy the fruits of your labor. I'm sorry. Whatever. Um, I, I Like I said, my budget, I do my budget. I'm not doing my budget as a trend to what everybody else is doing. I'm doing my budget to where it's comfortable for me. And I'm showing that, yes, you can save. You can, you can work. You can take care of your business. You can save. But you can still enjoy life. And, and live within your means and have fun doing that. So that is what I'm going to be doing. And <laughs> if that is something you're interested in, tune in. If it's not your cup of tea or you feel like, oh, you're not saving enough for me or you're not utilizing your coins well enough for me, I don't think this is my channel because I don't feel like, if you feel like you can't learn anything from my channel, I totally understand because you know, I'm not going to watch anybody I can't learn anything from. Like, so, I definitely understand. Um, as you guys know, my channel is more more than um, budgeting. It's fashion. It's hauls. It's it's hair. It's all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, that budgeting is just one aspect of my life. And I'm going to make mistakes along the way. And I'm going to try new things to see if they work. And if they don't work. It's okay. I can try something different. If they do work, uh, that is a win. So, 
I am going to be trying different things, doing different things, but I'm going to be taking you guys along with me while I do those things. So if you want to tune in, I would definitely tell you to subscribe or just hit your notification button so you can be notified of videos coming in. And yeah, I would love to have you guys part of the family. So I am going to get out of here because it is Saturday and I am washing and I was going to cook what I said. I mean, no, it's Friday and I was going to cook what I said. Now. I don't cook Saturday and Sunday because I'm not cooking today. I cook Thursday, so I'm not cooking today. But it is Friday and I'm washing my son's clothes. I want to wash his clothes for the week. So I can wash my me and my husband's clothes and wash our sheets and blankets Saturday. So Sunday I can reset my life and get ready for my work week. I don't want to have to do nothing on Sunday but cook them. So yes, I am finna get out of here. Remember to think smart, spend spend smarter, and have fun planning it out.